But first, a murder in Orange County that happened back in September of last year is back in the news tonight. Isaiah Ross is now charged with killing 14 year old Lyric Woods and 18 year old Devin Clark. Clark was a student at Eastern Alamance High School, where he was also a member of the football team. And during a court hearing today, a judge denied bond for Ross. Now new at 10, Sarah Kruger takes us inside the courtroom where it happened. Dozens of family members of Lyric Woods and Devin Clark filled the courtroom, at times crying and shaking as they heard the details of how their children were murdered. Devin and Lyric were shot in the back while they were running away from this vehicle. They both um, had shots at close range. They were executed. Prosecutor Anna Orr told the court a preliminary autopsy shows Woods was shot at least four times, Clark at least five. She says the gun used in the crimes belonged to Clark's father. She says after the murders, the suspect, Isaiah Ross, only 17 at the time, told a friend what he did. That friend then came to investigators with the story, saying Ross picked up Clark in the middle of the night, then they picked up Woods. Devin did bring a gun with him, that Devin was, quote, beaming him with the gun, and that they began to struggle over the gun while sitting um, in a car, that the gun, quote, went off in the vehicle, that he was able to overtake the gun from Devin, and that he shot Devin still while sitting in the vehicle. He told this witness that Lyric was in the back seat, that she was screaming, and that he shot her. The state says its evidence includes blood splatter from the car and cell phone location data. No motive was revealed in court. Ross's attorney, Jonathan Trapp, says the state doesn't have much to go on other than one witness whose credibility he questions. The things that he is being accused of are outside of his character. We spoke with Clark's mother after the hearing. Holidays ain't been the same, none of that, but it's all, it's, I'm just being strong. I gotta keep pushing. And that was Sarah Kruger from our affiliate WRAL reporting. Ross is due back in court this June.